hi all the students so the example network that we are going to study today is your ethernet now what is ethernet ethernet is basically a technology that is commonly used in local area networks or the lans that you call them which are wired now you all know that there are two types of lans wired and wireless so ethernet is used in the lans which are wired now what is a lan we all know that when we want to cover a uh, uh, smaller geographical areas so lans are those networks that help you connect computers in a comparatively smaller geographical area which basically cover your room office or a building and what is ethernet technology basically ethernet is a network protocol so what is a protocol here we all know that protocol is a set of rules for communication among devices in a network now all the devices in a network that want to communicate with each other must follow the same protocols so ethernet is that such network protocol that is controlling how your data would be transmitted over a lan why because ethernet is a technology used or a network protocol used in wired lans it is also referred to as ieee 802.3 protocol so if you call it ethernet or you call it ieee 802.3 it is the same thing now most of the desktop and laptop computers that come they come with an inbuilt in, uh, ethernet or an integrated ethernet card and are ready to be connected to an ethernet lan all you have to do is that you have to connect the ethernet lan to that uh, particular slot and you you can have your ethernet connection now how does an ethernet work so the uh, working process behind an ethernet is such that whenever a machine on a network wants to send data to another machine now it is quite obvious that there are several machines which are connected on a network and all of them are connected for a specific purpose right and what that purpose is sending or receiving data so when a machine on a network wants to send the data to some other machine on the same network what it does first of all it senses the carrier now carrier is your communication channel so your communication channel or your communication link is also known as the carrier so the first thing the machine that wants to send the data will do is listen or sense the carrier right now carrier is that main wire since i said it is a communication channel or a communication link that means it is the main wire that is connecting the devices right now if the carrier is free that means there is no other machine or that is sending the data through that carrier during that point of time then the machine which wants to send its data will send the data packet on the network right now all other devices all other intermediate devices which receive the packet will check the packet and see the address if in the address field they find that their address is mentioned they will receive and process it or else they will ignore it so that means all the devices will check the packet to see if they are recipient so if they find their address in the packet they will accept and process it or else they will ignore it now recipient recipient means that particular machine for which the packet was intended recipient as i said consumes the packet it processes the packet basically by consuming i mean it processes the packet so if there is a packet on channel see the first possibility was when the uh, sending machine sends the carrier and it found that the there was no other packet on the network the other possibility is that that the sending machine senses the carrier but then it finds that there is a packet on the channel so what does it do at uh, in that particular case it will not send a packet what it will do it will hold back for some thousands of a second and then try again until it can send now i said it will try again until it can send means that means again it will sense and there is a possibility that again the there is some packet on the channel then again it will wait for some thousands of second and so on so this thing will be repeated in a loop until the channel is free and if the channel is free then obviously it will transmit the data 
through that channel.